Congratulations on your new Roku Video Doorbell. We're going to walk you through how to get started. Here's everything that should be in your box. Got everything? Great, let's keep moving. Grab your smartphone and let's download the Roku Smart Home app. After it's downloaded, open the Roku Smart Home app and sign in with your Roku account. Don't have a Roku account yet? Now's the time to create one. You may need to set up two-factor authentication. Next, allow access to your location while you're using the app. When you're prompted to allow notifications, select Allow to receive motion and sound notifications. You can customize notifications later in your settings. See that plus sign in the app? Press it, then add device, then cameras and doorbells. Then choose your wire-free doorbell. Before we go on, we recommend charging your doorbell with the included USB cable. You're doing great so far. First, we'll power up your doorbell and chime. Press and hold the power button on the back of your wire-free doorbell for five seconds until you see the LED light up and hear a tone. Ready to connect. Next, grab your Roku chime and plug it into a power outlet. We recommend plugging it midway between your doorbell and your Wi-Fi router. Next, reset the chime by pressing and holding the reset button on the side. Once it says reset successfully, let go. The LED on the chime should flash yellow and you'll hear ready to connect. Keep your phone nearby while the app searches for your doorbell. Make sure the LED light on your doorbell is flashing. If it's not, press and hold the power button again. Select your network and log in using your Wi-Fi password. Success! Once you're connected, it's time to install your doorbell. Let's get your doorbell installed. If you have an existing doorbell, you can either replace it, disconnect it so it no longer works, or keep it fully operational. It's up to you. If you want to replace your hardwired doorbell, you'll want to go to this video and follow the installation instructions there. If you just want to disconnect your existing doorbell, we'll go ahead and disable the chime. If you want to keep your doorbell operational, you can skip ahead. First, make sure to turn your doorbell's power off by flipping your breaker switch. Locate your chime box. That's what makes noise when guests press your doorbell. Remove the chime box cover and take a photo with your phone of the wiring. Next, make note of what the wiring looks like in your chime box. If your house has one doorbell, there should be two wires. If your house has two doorbells, there should be three wires. Make sure the power's still off then use your screwdriver to disconnect the wires. Once disconnected, connect the two wires to each other with the fuse wire. Then cover the wires with the wire caps. Reattach the chime box covering and turn the power back on. Okay, now it's time to get your doorbell up and ready for action. Using screws or 3M tape if you don't want to make any holes, attach the back plate to the wall. Next, attach your doorbell to the back plate and make sure your doorbell is on. Using the included screwdriver, drive the small security screw into the bottom of your doorbell to keep it in place. All secure? Great! The last step is to name your doorbell, and you're good to go. Congrats! You get a 14-day free trial of Roku Smart Home subscription to access your doorbell's advanced features. Make sure to sign up for the full subscription before your trial is up. For further tips, troubleshooting, and how to pair your doorbell with Alexa or Google Assistant? Head to go.roku.com doorbells. Welcome home to Roku.